Welcome back everyone, N3FJZ with more front ZX front panel work. All right, here's a situation you may run into with your U-Blocks module. Uh, the software is, my software is written uh, to assume that the U-Blocks module is communicating at 9600 baud. Uh, but if your U-Blocks module is set to some other baud rate, uh, of course it won't communicate. So here's a situation I've set up to simulate a um, U-Blocks module programmed at 4800 baud as default and using a program called U-Center I'll show you how you can uh, set that baud rate to 9600 and then save it as a default startup value in the U-Block so that when it powers up it will default to that baud rate. Okay, uh, first thing you want to do is connect uh, your U-Blocks module to your PC's serial port or USB port. Uh, in this case, um, the U-Blocks module commutes, communicates serially uh, at a TTL level through the uh, RX and TX pins. And what I have here is I have a uh, USB to uh, serial TTL level converter. This one happens to be a CP2102 and they're available from many sources, not very expensive. Okay, once you've done that, uh, you're going to want to download a program called U-Center from the U-Blocks website. Uh, this one here, let's see if I can get the about screen here, uh, about U-Center. This one just happens to be what is it, version 8.25, but there's probably a newer version. No. So once you get that downloaded, what you're going to want to do is um, launch U Center, and uh, you want to verify that the baud rate uh, your module is communicating at. And right now, my module is definitely sending out uh, the uh, GPS sentences is you're going to select um, receiver baud rate here I'm assuming it's 4800 baud oops sorry and then you're going to verify your port and uh, you may have to uh, verify that through your PC but I know this is COM8 so I've selected the COM8 and now we're going to do view text console or press the F8 key. That should bring up your text console and you should now start to see the, uh, the, the GPS sentences with the uh, coordination uh, coordinate data, latitude, longitude, and a no number of other things. Okay, here we verify that it is communicating at 4800 baud. Now what you're going to use is, and I'm reading here, that's why I'm hesitating. Uh, you want to select view, configuration, configuration view, scroll down and look for PRT ports. select that and what will happen what should happen is these boxes should populate and this is what the modules program for now if your baud rate box stays red then the modules not communicating which would be surprising since you've already verified that it was communicating okay now what we want to do is uh, you want to select your new baud rate in this case we're going to select 9600 and we want to verify that the protocol protocol in and protocol out have a selection here in this case it's 0 plus 1 which is UBX plus the uh, N NEMA messages and the UART 1 is the I believe that's the default communication port that the U blocks is when these modules that you can buy that's what it's connected to okay once you've done that at the very bottom here 
you got a button called send and I'm going to click this but I want to show you what's going to happen here on the scope if you look at the bottom trace that is the uh, that is the line coming out of the uh, u-center to the uh, module and if I do this right you should see that line uh, yeah there we go you've seen the data appeared and you notice that the uh, transmission rate has changed all right so now what we've done we've switched it to 9600 baud okay wait wait a few seconds for everything to settle and then what you want to do is um, in U center now now that you change the baud rate you have to go back in and select receiver baud rate and you'll notice that it's was it's still in 4800 now you want to select 96 as that's what the modules communicating at now okay once you've done that you should be able to go back to your um, text console and see that it's now updating with new data so we verified that we've set the baud rate on the U uh, the U blocks module Okay, at this moment though, that is a soft setting. If you power down the module, it will come back at 4800 or whatever the original baud rate was. So now what you have to do is, let me look at my notes here. Okay, going back, where'd my mouse go? Here we go. Going back to the configuration, configure uh, window. You want to scroll up and select CFG configuration. Okay, this will open up another window. What you want to do is verify that you have save current configuration is selected in that, and I really should do more research. Uh, I've found that um, it's one of these, whatever's on the board is the storage device but what you want to do is select I just select all of them to be safe and I'm gonna have to put the camera down just for a moment okay what you want to do is select all these devices to be on the safe side or if you're not lazy like me you would find out which one is which and that would work too and then you collect you select send and here again, I want to show you that the activity takes place. All right, you've seen communications coming from U Center to the module. And now that sent those settings, and the module was instructed to save those defaults in its, I believe it's the I2CE prom, but this to be on the safe side, I just selected all of them. Okay. And, okay, now what I do, I guess, would be just to verify everything. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close down U Center, and I'm going to um, power down the uh, USB or the uh, GPS module. Let me just pull that out. Okay, have the uh, module powered down now, and the goal is now to wait. 15 or 20 seconds just to make sure all the capacitors discharge and then we're going to power the module back up and verify that it comes back in the 9600 baud okay I've reconnected the uh, the GPS module back to the PC and using U Center again or you could even use a terminal program it doesn't matter I'm just going to use U Center, relaunch it. All right, U Center opens up. And we want to go to uh, receive baud rate, verify that's on 9600. And then what we want to do is select uh, view. text console and if everything worked you should now be communicating at the uh, 9600 baud 
and where you can verify that if you look at the very bottom of the U Center window will be a um, status bar here it's sh showing uh, communication at 9600 volt and in the scope of course we got communications okay and that's how you do it um, I hope this helps I know it's not ideal I guess I should use like a screen capture but I just wanted to get this out there it's not very complicated uh, so that way you know how to do this all right seven three everyone n3 fjz